this week we have an example of uh, equipment that we change the microphone for a newest and more proficient microphone so we want to evaluate the previous microphone versus the new microphone and this is the example that we are going to review today okay this week we received information regarding two different microphones so I have my data here uh, mic 1 is the previous microphone the improved microphone is mic 2 so I'm gonna copy the data here from my Excel and I'm gonna copy to uh, Minitab remember that we need to to paste in the first column here in the first row and I'm gonna go to the assistant menu in and in the third portion we are going to find the before and after capability analysis since I have continuous data I'm going to use the uh, comparison for continuous data I'm going to select in the baseline process my, my previous microphone mic1 and my second microphone in the improved data okay uh, in this example, the subgroup is going to be one because samples are independent uh, and also they are not related. There is no subgroup. There is no sample every X amount of time. So I'm going to use a subgroup of one. And also for this example, my spec is 90 decibels uh, plus minus three. That is 87 and 93 93 and I'm gonna hit OK my last uh, chart that Minitab provide is the hypothesis test when uh, we are gonna prove statistically if the difference happened if it's true or if uh, we don't have enough evidence to prove that there is a difference so we use uh, long-term capability that is PP and PPK and this is the improvement from a PPK of 0.53 we went up uh, to PPK or long-term capacity of 1.48 this is my first chart here I have a 90% confidence that the uh, change is, is positive is, is valid remember from our uh, CPK video we need to have or we need to comply to conditions for have a in order to have a proper capability analysis stability is the first one that we prove here that the, the data is stable and normality that I'm proving here uh, normality in the before data and in the after data and the third chart is going to be uh, this one that is uh, the, the one that we are most of the time this and the last one are the charts that we are going to use when we document or improvement here we can see that we have uh, 66 samples in the before 110 for the after we have all the parametrics uh, or, or the mean the standard deviation and here I'm going to have the CP and the CPK so CPK is the ultimate measure and we went from 0.53 to 1.43 and now with the improved microphone uh, we know that the change is true the change is valid and we are about above the 1.33 minimum required to an acceptable uh, CPK level so this example show how quick we can use the tool the before and after capability and we can use to compare different machines different processes different type of material uh, different supplier etc so use the tool and you're going to see a lot of benefits we expect your comments Give a like to the video and subscribe to see more tools. Yeah.